all of you folks who have got half an inch of gravel in the bottom of your tank and you're filtering it like mad and you're changing the water every week. You do not have a healthy tank. Right on in. You're it, Father Fish. There is substantial confusion in the aquarium hobby about what a healthy aquarium is. For some, a healthy aquarium is one in which the water is clear. The other end of that spectrum are those who believe that a tank can only be healthy if it is biologically and chemically balanced. What does it really mean for a tank to be healthy? It might help to think about what it means for you to be healthy. For one thing, it means you are vigorous. You are full of vim and vinegar. You are active and busy and alert. You are seeking to maximize yourself to be all that you can be. That, I think, for each of us is to be healthy. So, can we extrapolate that? Let's try. An aquarium that is healthy is vigorous. It is strong enough to withstand, oh, things like extra feeding, overfeeding, things like a oh, sick or a diseased fish or an injured fish coming into the tank. A sudden drop in temperature. It is vigorous enough to be able to control the waste that is produced in it. So a healthy tank, then, is not simply one in which the water is clear. It's one in which the biology is stable and strong and able to withstand things that might go wrong or even things that are going very right. Let's say, for example, that you find you need to change the water in your tank on an absolute regular basis, once a week, even once a month, and that it's critical you find to do that. Well, why is that? Why is it critical to do that? Because there are waste products building up in the water column that have to be removed. That means your tank is not capable of dealing with the waste products that are in it. So your tank is not healthy. If it were healthy, it would just like a pond or a creek or any other natural body of water, it would be able to cope effectively with all of that waste coming in. Now, don't give me this malarkey about how an aquarium is not natural. That's nonsense. An aquarium is like any other entity on Earth. It is, by virtue of its existence, natural. And it abides by all of the same rules and laws and principles as anything else does. So there are certainly natural processes that go on and should go on in your aquarium. So let's take this first one. Waste. What happens to the waste that is produced in your tank? Well, if it stays in the water, then the water becomes increasingly dense increasingly rich with biological material until it reaches a point where bacteria begin to appear and it begins to smell, perhaps. The fish begin to have difficulty breathing. That is not a healthy tank, and that is not a tank that is capable of dealing with essentially the natural environment that exists within it, the natural things that are going on in the tank. So how can that be done? How can a tank do that? Well, there are some very simple ways it can do it. One of the simple ways is for it to be simply deep enough in substrate for those 
waste products to be able to precipitate down into the substrate. And when they do, they are assimilated, they're broken down into the components that are needed for a cycle to occur, for plants to be able to take them up. And when the plants take them up, they grow leaves, and those leaves take in more of that waste product that's being produced in the aquarium. So that's a way in which the tank can be healthy in the means by which it deals with things like waste. Think about other ways in which an aquarium is impacted by challenges. Is your aquarium able to withstand those challenges? Well, up to a point, hopefully it can. Beyond a given point, nothing probably can. I mean, it is possible to foul a tank hopelessly, regardless of how well balanced it is, regardless of how sturdy and strong and resistant it is. It's always possible to destroy anything. But in the normal affairs of maintaining an aquarium, maintaining your aquarium, is it able to withstand and to remain vigorous, to remain strong and, dare I use the word, healthy, through all of the vagaries of everything that you're doing in order to be able to maintain a genuinely healthy tank. So let's recap for a moment. Your tank needs to be strong, stable. It needs to be able to withstand challenges to it. Challenges that come as just normal activity. If your aquarium can do that, if it is put together with sufficient balance and sufficient integrity to allow it to withstand the regular activity that's going on, such that you do not need to change the water at the drop of a hat, you don't need to go in and clean it, you don't need to take some fish out or find that there are sick fish in it all the time or the plants are failing. In other words, if you have a stable, strong aquarium that withstands all of that and is able to sustain itself, then you have a healthy aquarium. So I put it to you, all you folks who have got half an inch of gravel in the bottom of your tank, and you're filtering it like mad, and you're changed on the water every week. You do not have a healthy tank. You may be trying to keep it healthy, but you're not doing it. You're not keeping it healthy. You're keeping it on the verge of chaos. And that's no way to keep an aquarium. Well, a little lecture for a moment in time. Hope you can get something of value out of thinking about what a healthy tank really, really means. Join us on our Father Fish Show, our Discord channel, the links below. We can talk about this and lots more. And oh yes, be sure to visit our Shopify store. Oh, do we have some deals for you. We've got that miracle powder that goes in your substrate that will allow that substrate to last for year after year after year. It is amazing. And our book is coming out. It's getting ready. We're getting very close. The first module on leaves is going to be published in the next month. We'll find a way to get that to you. In the meantime, Father Fish here. Love you all. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And bye for now.